Hello Linux fans, welcome to Linux Quest. I appreciate you watching. So I decided it was time to install a new OS, a fresh OS on the family computer and I chose Manjaro 17 KDE Edition. So most of you are aware that uh, Manjaro 17 has been released. It first came out with XFCE, the default desktop, as well as KDE 5.9 and since then the community editions with your other favorite desktops have been released for the most part. So the install was pretty well straightforward with the exception of an error out at about 92% of completion. So that's always a bummer. Um, not sure what happened and I should have screen clipped the error message but I, I just simply didn't do it. Um, with that said, restarted the install process, double checked that everything was okay and the install went through just fine. Uh, again, not sure what happened. I don't believe in this case it was user error, um, but nevertheless, uh, once the install completed, was able to reboot into the system just fine. Now, for the most part, this is kind of what you're going to see here, default desktop with the exception of the widgets you see here. And uh, I've only had this uh, up and running for uh, less than 24 hours, but uh, at any rate, I uh, wanted to step through and share a few things with you. I've installed a few pieces of software. I installed Chromium and uh, Firefox was installed by default. So I want to jump over here and let's take a look under system, I believe. It's been a while since I've run KDE. I've been running uh, GNOME. So let's go to system and let's move over here to okay I'm wrong let's go to settings there we go let's go to Manjaro settings or Manjaro I've heard it called Manjaro anyway I'm stuck on Manjaro so I was able to this has an uh, this particular system has an ATI Radeon card and thanks to the hardware configurator under uh, Manjaro settings manager I was able to get the video catalyst uh, drivers and everything installed just fine that worked well and let's go over to more info and we'll take a look here at uh, what we've got running. Now I have not updated the kernel uh, so um, we're running on the LTS kernel right now of 4.9.13 and uh, right now this is the latest KDE Plasma version 5.9.3 as well as KDE Framework version 5.31 and QT version 5.8. This is a 64-bit OS, of course, and uh, it's an AMD processor with a Radeon graphics and 4 gigs of RAM. So it's certainly not a beast or anything like that, but for the most part, um, it's running fine. It doesn't feel to me as fast as Antergos KDE, which was previously running uh, on this system. For some reason, uh, there's a little bit of a lag here and there. I'm going to wait for things to settle in a little bit and also see if there are any system updates. I wanted to point out the icon set and everything here. The theming that's in place here is called Breath, I believe. Let's go over and take a look at that. And you'll see here like a little stutter. It'll like, it's like it hangs. Just a little bit of lag there. And I didn't have that with Antergos KDE, so I'm not quite sure what's going on. Alright, so I want to take a look at the uh, workspace theme here. Yes, this is Breath. And you also have Breeze, Breeze Dark, Maya, Maya Dark, and Oxygen. And Oxygen just seems to be hanging around there. Uh, but overall, the, the look and the feel is very nice, very polished very uniform. It doesn't feel like they you know, took Manjaro and just slapped KDE on here. You can tell there's some work that's gone into this in making everything um, uniform, attractive, and, and uh, feel well put together, which it does. Um, so where was I heading with that? So yeah, the uh, icons you can see here are attractive. I didn't mean to close that window there. Uh, professional looking. And I'll tell you what, it's, it's uh, interesting if you use other file managers other than Dolphin and then you come back to Dolphin, you really appreciate what an excellent file manager it really is. So um, let's go over here and look at a few other things. 
as I said there is a kernel update and now let's step over here to settings under uh, Manjaro settings manager I'll eventually find my way around and then we'll take a look at the most recent kernel available is 4.10.1-1 and so I've kept this at 4.9.13 I may actually jump up to 4.10 and just see from a performance standpoint if things change there also I'm kind of looking for system updates um, and again have been surprised not to find any and uh, this is the actual welcome screen that you'll see when you first log in and so they've got their documentation here for release info uh, support with forms chat room and mailing list and then information here about the project overall I'm going to keep this on here and really put it through its paces. I just kind of wanted to give a quick overview here in case you haven't seen a recent video of 417 with, or excuse me, of Manjaro 417, of 17 with uh, KDE 5.9. Uh, if you look at the pre-installed apps, we'll ignore the Chromium apps that, that was in place there and we'll ignore development. Uh, so under education you're going to have mathematics, Libre Office Math. Under science you've got KDE Marble and Libre Office Math. Under games we've got Steam pre-installed. And that's nice, um, you know, that's an area where um, not every distribution has Steam set up and in place. So um, could certainly save you some time for the gamers out there. Now you've got a pretty big selection here under graphics. You've got Digicam, Gwenview, Inkscape, Krita, um, Ocular, Show Photo. We looked at LibreOffice Draw earlier, I believe, was in the list. Uh, Show Photo and Scanlight. Then under Internet, I installed Chromium and everything else was installed. So you've got things like Knet Attach, Conversation. Um, they put Steam here under Internet, which makes sense. Thunderbird and Qubit Torrent and Firefox was your default browser there. Now under multimedia, this is new to me, Katana, uh, Cantana, Cantata, I'm sorry, uh, K3B, Caden Live was already um, set up and in place. Uh, one less thing for me to have to install. I installed Simple Screen Recorder. You've also got VLC Media Player as well as Zine Setup. Alright, so you're going to find the usual here. LibreOffice was pre-installed. I installed WPS Office. And then under Settings, we had our AMD Catalyst Control Center for the video card here. Uh, Manjaro Notifier KDE Settings. Let's take a quick look at that. Check Unsupported Kernels. Check for New Kernels. We're going to uncheck the Unsupported Kernels and we'll keep it to New Kernels. And check for Missing Language Packs. So we've got that all in place there. Let's go back under uh, settings here. You've got print settings and that's one thing I appreciate about Manjaro is uh, what I have found is I've got this old HP printer scanner uh, all-in-one kind of device and uh, with Manjaro every time that um, I've used this printer it's really plug-and-play. Uh, plug it in uh, you're not waiting on anything to install you're not loading up drivers or anything like that it just it just works. That's why I'm actually a fan of older printers. Uh, they seem to do better uh, in a lot of cases than, than newer printers. All right, so under system, you're going to see quite a bit there. I installed um, uh, Pamac. I prefer that over Octopi. Got that set up just fine. Uh, you've got HTOP, Info Center, K3B, uh, the Partition Manager, Console, K System Guard, K Wallet Manager, which is something I uh, go in and turn off. Uh, Manjaro Hello, which we opened up earlier, I do believe. All right, so we'll jump back over here under uh, under System. You've got Software Update, Octopi. Let's go back here, Octopi. Um, printer Settings, Software Update. Sue Studio Image Writer was set up um, before I started using Etcher. That was my favorite 
ISO burner for sure. And then you've got UX term and X term. Jump in here, there's UX term. Not familiar with these really. There's a little stutter and lag through the application menu. And I'm just I'm you know going from memory here, but it didn't seem like I had lag with Antergos KDE as far as navigating the application launcher. So we're going to switch back over here to the default application launcher and we'll take a look from there. So let's go down to system and actually that seems to be running smoother and that's very interesting. Alright so pretty good lineup um, you know it's certainly in the area of graphics it's got uh, a few more applications pre-installed than you typically find uh, as far as multimedia it's kind of the same there you've got several options for playing your media um, you know overall I'm gonna leave this in place we're gonna see how this works on the family system and I think everyone is going to be happy with it um, there's no new learning curve really it is KDE and while there have been some improvements and things like that I just really want to see from a stability standpoint um, see how things move along with the updates with Manjaro and so I'm going to keep this around for a while if you've got any specific questions or anything like that that you haven't seen in the video uh, just go ahead and post those and I'll do my best to get back with you on it hope this helps and we will check you later thanks for watching